Hi everybody, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. And this week we're gonna talk about how to break a lane down, which will help result in higher scores. The reason I think this tip is so important is because there's one thing that I see consistently across the board, whether I'm bowling league, I'm bowling on tour, or I'm watching college bowlers play. And they will all bowl their entire 10 minutes of practice where they're wanting to bowl when the lights turn on for score. And the issue with that is they're burning up the front part of the lane where they're going to bowl in those 10 minutes of practice before the lights even turn on. I have always been a firm believer that you wanna create a little bit of friction right of where you wanna play. So let's just say that you wanna play 10. Well, what I like to do is I like to move three, four, five boards further right of that and throw shots with my most aggressive bowling balls to help burn up that part of the lane. So in practice, I will make a conscious effort to slide and play further right than my intent. The reason why that is so important is that way I know I have a little bit of friction to my right and I know the, vol the heavy volume of oil is gonna be a little bit to my left, resulting in a little bit more room to play when the lights turn on. So if you're bowling league and or tournament with a team, imagine how many extra shots, if you're all doing it together, will help create that spot a little bit further to the right a lot faster. This is something I do on tour as an individual I don't want to strike for the entire 10 minutes of practice. It's just the last couple shots on the lane before practice is over where I'm trying to get lined up. Prior to that, I'm trying to create as much room for air as I possibly can. So hopefully you can see in these videos that when I first start playing further to the right than where my intent is, my ball is going high a lot. I don't get panicked about this because I know this isn't where I'm going to play. And then when I do get lined up, I'm going to move four or five boards to the left where I'm going to start and that's when I get really comfortable and I'm ready to strike for the rest of the day. I really hope this tip helps. Good luck out there and we'll see you next week.